Hi, welcome to Homemaker Living. My name is Teresa, and today we're going to take a look at how I mound or hill and support my squash, melons, and cucumbers. Yesterday I sowed the seeds for my squash and my melons. I thought I'd show you how that turned out, but I still have my cucumbers to do. So I thought I'd bring you along and show you that process. I've dedicated two beds to my squash plants. I have two trellises on them that are cattle panels that are bent from one bed to the other, supported by T-posts. And each of the bed is planted exactly the same. So I have butternut squash, three of them, on this trellis going over this hoop. And in this mound, I have winter luxury pumpkin from Territorial Seed. In this mound, I have zucchini, and my daughter-in-law gifted me that zucchini. And then in this mound, I have neon pumpkin, which is a jack-o'-lantern. When they grow, I think they are orange right out of the gate. Sometimes they have a bright yellow streak in them, but then they end up turning all orange or really pretty. And then on this cattle panel, I have three sugar baby, I think that's what they're called, pie pumpkins. Last year, I think I grew four or five and it was a little too crowded. So at any rate, so this bed is exactly like this bed. And I'll have them Pumpkins going over the top of this one, and butternut squash going over that one. And then last year we supported them with some netting as they hung. In fact, there's a little bit of the netting still on there. And then I have two beds dedicated to my melons. The first one here is for watermelon. And I put in three mounds, about three feet apart. And this one is Mini Love Watermelon. And the watermelon that we grew last year, we did not like. So I'm giving this one a shot this year. Hopefully we'll have better luck. So I put two seeds in each mound. And I will just keep one seed in each mound after they germinate. And pick and choose, I guess, the strongest of them. And then in this bed, I have cantaloupe. And this one is new to us. This is rocky, no, honey rock. And same thing, three beds, three feet apart, two seeds in each one, and I'll just keep one of the seeds that germinate in each of those. I actually have another bed of cantaloupe I totally forgot about. I had this bed with this trellis in it, completely empty because I was gonna put pinto beans in it, but they turned out to be a bush variety, not vining. And so I thought, well, last year I trained a Minnesota midget cantaloupe up a trellis to see how it do, and it did really well. You just got to catch them, tie them up or catch them before they get too ripe, and then they fall off the vine. So I went ahead and put in, I did not mound these. It'll be interesting to see how these do compared to the mounded ones. I went ahead and put in two seeds at each of the rocks. They're spaced about three feet apart. And then based on which ones are the healthiest, if they all germinate, hopefully I'll get one in each spot. Then I'll go ahead and train them up this trellis and hopefully we'll be able to enjoy some Minnesota midgets this year, this year as well. I've already marked Mounds, nothing huge. 
they say a hill, and back when I first started gardening, I'd make a hill, and then all the water would run off the top of it. And then I tried to not use any hills, especially with my cucumbers. And that didn't work. I didn't really have any cucumbers that year. They all got overly wet just sitting in flat soil. So my idea is to just make a little bit of a mound here. All four of these. I don't know if I mentioned I'm growing four different types of cucumbers. We don't eat a lot of cucumbers, but I do can uh, pickles, dill pickles, hot vegetables that have cucumbers in it, um, bread and butter pickles, and I kind of dish it out a little bit in here so that the when I'm trying to keep the seedlings moist when I first plant them. Okay. These are the cucumbers I'm growing. This is Armenian. I've grown this three times before and the only luck I had was last year. Uh, I got some really great uh, fruit. And then I always grow this munching cucumber, just like a straight eight type regular old cucumber. And then of course, a pickling cucumber. This one I've used from Territorial Seed a number of years, double yield pickling. And this one I got from my daughter-in-law. I can't pronounce it. Jabai, Jabay. And uh, that was a really good cucumber last year, so I'm gonna do it again this year. And I'll just water them in a little bit, just so that the soil is a little bit moist on the mounds, the hills. And then I go to sow them. The soil is already wet. And then when I water them in, they won't float, they won't uh, float to the surface. So you see it, using these mounds, it doesn't just run off the hills, it sits and saturates into the hill. I don't know if that's the intent, but that's uh, the method I use that seems to work pretty good. So I apologize for the wind noise. So all of the four varieties uh, say to plant them a half of an inch down. I use the stibbler that has measuring on it. So I'll go just a half of an inch down, kind of work it around a little bit, make the hole a little bit big. But I think I've had some of those seeds for a few years. So I'm going to go ahead and overseed. Uh, I really don't want, obviously, three in each hill. Two would be nice. So I'm going to go ahead and plant three just to make sure I get some germination. I'll plant them kind of close to this trellis so when they come up, they're not out here and they have to lean forward, then come straight up. I'll start with Armenian, cucumber, tickling, and jabai if that's how you pronounce it. So I'll just pick out what appears to me to be three decent uh, cucumber seeds. So again, this is Armenian that I'm doing first. And draw three seeds in. And then cover them up. doing the muncher cucumbers. Okay. Now I'm going to do the doubling yield, double yield pickling. It's interesting to see if these germinate. These are from 21. But you know, I always have good luck with my seeds.
Fisher, Vicolini, and Javai. Okay. That's it. That's how I mound, hill, if you will, uh, any of my cucumbers, melons, and squashes. Same method, and for me, it works every time. Well, that's it, pretty simple. It's not rocket science. Just scrape the top of that soil together, make a nice little mound, get it wet and plant your seeds. I always find it pretty beneficial to do that. The few times I haven't done that, I haven't had as much success. So that's my go-to. I did the one cantaloupes without doing it, but I guess I wasn't thinking when I did that. So we'll see how it turns out. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel as I continue to plant out my garden. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.